and welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about No Offense by Meg Cabot. And this is the second book in, do you know what the series is called? It's named after the little act, town. Yeah. The, it doesn't say it on Edelweiss, so we'll it, tag it below. Southport? Bridgeport? You keep um, talking, I'll look on Goodreads. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, if we can't find it, we'll tag it below. But this is the second book in a series. Of romances. Um, this one is about Molly and John. Molly is the new children's librarian and John is the sheriff. So what happens is Molly plans a cookie decorating party and as us librarians know food programs are a nightmare and a half. They just are. Like you don't do it. It's Little Bridge Island. There's so many. Oh South Bridge Island. Little Bridge Island. Little Bridge Island series. Is what the series is. Um, this book starts off with Molly having a food program because those are a nightmare. And um, during the food program, something suspicious happens in the um, ladies' bathroom. She goes in, and there's a baby in a box. Somebody's abandoned this baby, and so she calls the police, like you would do. Um, and Sheriff John comes out, and so basically this sparks his investigation of who left the baby who's the mother like what what's going on and of course molly is i want to say a bleeding heart because that's what us librarians are and she just she can't imagine that somebody would abandon their baby and you know so she doesn't believe that like the mom should get in trouble even though she doesn't know who the mom is and she knows that there's something more afoot and kind of as the sheriff further digs through kind of the mystery surrounding this. Molly is also doing her own, like, side work of, like, trying to solve the mystery. And along the way, they've, they're obviously crossing paths because they're both following similar clues. Um, they also start to develop feelings for each other. And um, steam, steaminess, romance ensues. Is there really anything, like, more that we need to cover? I don't think so. Okay. So, I give you right. So I'm thinking about this, and I didn't love Molly. I didn't either. I didn't like her. I didn't. I didn't dislike her. I just like, and it wasn't like I just didn't like. I just didn't like her behavior because, like, the library stuff I thought was hilarious. Like no, the library stuff was really like it was good. It was good for somebody who doesn't work in a library. Like, you know that it's written from somebody who doesn't work in a library, but a lot of what was included, you can tell that she's done her research and she knows pieces and parts of it, but some of it was just kind of like, no, that doesn't, that just doesn't fit right. Well, see, and I didn't necessarily see that. Like, I thought, like, there's a part where they're talking about how it doesn't matter. You have a master's degree. You're still going to have to plunge the toilet. Like, yeah. I've, I've plunged toilets. I've mopped floors. I particularly liked the one where a customer was being rude to her and the teen patron that she was talking to is like, do you get that a lot? And she's like, yes, this is my dream job. Right. I feel that. I feel that to my core. Right. And so like that kind of stuff, there's also a part where like she has to teach someone to dance and they're like, you know, this dance. And she's like, you would not believe some of the questions I get asked. And like that, I was like, that I felt was very, I don't answer dance questions. I don't. No, but I would find you a website that shows you how to do it. We'd watch YouTube videos together. Yes. So I just, so that kind of stuff. That And so I feel like, I feel like if I was basic, because I liked John. I thought John was a strong character. He was a single father. I love when single fathers are depicted as being dedicated parents. Yeah. And I love how he liked it. He didn't always get it. Like he wasn't perfect. Like he didn't get what was going on sometimes. But he was will he was open minded enough to learn and to listen. And I I appreciated that. And I liked that. And it felt realistic. Right. And so I feel like and like the mystery. I I kind of like. I thought that was weird. So I, I didn't think that was that weird. It was it was just like a strange element to it. Like especially because it was like this cult leader guy who is potentially stalking people. Like, it was just strange. Yeah. I don't know. That part didn't really work for me. And the other part that didn't really work for me is, like, the 
the steamy scenes. Like, they, I just, like, uh, I wasn't all in for their relationship to, like, care. I don't know. Like, I'm reading it, and I'm like, I wish this was the boyfriend material. Like, because that was steamy and awesome and adorable. Well, and I feel like Meg Cabot's adult books are cataloged in romance. Like, they are romance books. And I feel like the romance in this was, like, an afterthought. And I and I think that on NetGalley, when I downloaded it, I think it is listed as a romance. Like, it's listed, like, the, ca- the romance at... And I almost kind of wish that they hadn't gone there. Yeah, I mean, it's built like a romance, but you're right. Like, romance really doesn't actually encompass what this book is about. Right, no, and I feel like the characters didn't interact that much. Yeah. Like, it was almost like two separate stories, and, like, they just kind of get together every so often. But I did like it. And I would probably read another book in this world. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just, I, her books are so quick to read. They are. And, you know, she is, she, she's a, she's written so many that she, she does, she, she can write. She's developed that skill. She, like, so she can create these kind of well-stocked plots and all of that. I just... It's a little quirky. It's not outstanding. Right. It's solid. it's solid. And I think that people who enjoy her books, her series, adult romance, will enjoy this. Right. Um, so are we, we ready to rate? Yeah, we should rate it. Okay, so our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, doesn't get a horn because it's not magical and it is therefore a horse. There you go. So, I'm, like, at a three and a half, and I really think the half is because I thought the library stuff was so funny. So, I'm going to have to go, I think, with a three. I'm going to go with three. I, I think it was solid. I think the library stuff, I appreciate the fact that it was there, but, yeah, no, it didn't. It doesn't. The library stuff, for me, doesn't kick it up. Yeah, so. That's where we are. I think her fans will appreciate this one. Yeah. Not, not like the... Princess Diary fans, the adult fans. You know what? The the Princess Diary fans have grown up. Like, her last, like, The Royal Wedding is a hilarious adult book. Right. (laughs) Then that was, you're right. Just so you guys know, we've been freezing throughout this whole process. Right. We were good until we hit record. Sure. It It is perfect. And then we hit record and Zoom was like, ta, in your face. So anyway, that is where we are on No Offense. And we'll see you around. Bye.